Ladies and gentlemen, fight for the yeah, dead! Yeah. Oh my god! Hey. Yes! Hey. Oh. Fellas, what's up? How we doing? Give them, we're doing so good, man. We gotta get some people in here real quick. We got people that should be joining, but we're gonna go run through the group chats real quick and like throw some more people in. What's up, man? Up, Thanks for having us on. Uh, we appreciate it, man. We, we jammed you guys the other day. Uh, I remember when I was playing Viva Sepulcher, I think is how you say it. Uh, I yeah. no I noticed wow, that I got it right. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. That was we, the closest ever so been, I'm trying sure. to get this in better. Yeah. So we have been on DWP contests, right? And we got on incarceration because of it. And every time they butcher it, it's so funny. Well, I mean, it's a hard work. Yeah. It's hard work. Well, we have a song called Malevolence too. And uh, male violence. And Jake, the pro producer Jake was like, "Was this male violence?" And they're like, "Dude, <laughs> please tell me that doesn't say male." Uh. <laughs> well, before okay. before we get started, real quick, and uh, could you guys properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts the world you are. Plug and promote anything and yeah. everything. Yeah, man. I'm Mikey. I'm Patty. We're from the band Fight from Within. We're both the vocalists. Um, we're from upstate New York. Uh, we just around that. Yeah, we area. just rep, we have people from different cities in the band. So Rochester, kind of just, Buffalo, Syracuse. Yeah, we just uh, rep the upstate New York area in general. Um, we're playing incarceration this year, Total Death Fest. Uh, we're leaving to play a festival in Cleveland on the first. We'll be in Cleveland, uh, Louisville, Georgia. Um, we're playing Total Death Fest in South Carolina. Our drummer's coming to say hi. Hi, drummer. What's up? How you doing, dude? Um, I'm doing great. I appreciate you asking. So all, <laughs> all in the surrounding New York area, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, that's where we're from, but we're touring all over the country. Yeah. So all the stuff. is is uh, incarceration the first like mega huge festival of that size that you guys have played before? Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. What was the party like yeah. that night when you won the DWP contest? There was not. Yo, there wasn't yeah, one. Maybe. What? Yeah, we're all what? To work tomorrow. Well, actually, I was at. I was at. Yo, shout out to an easy death from um from Rochester. Yeah, throw that in there. The chat. Get those people in there. Um, but uh, yeah, dude, we were actually at a show. It was an easy death. Orange Grove Ave. I wasn't there. Um, it, I was there. You were there. But anyway, so I'm just hopping back and forth between bands, and like we're doing all this. It was if not for me, was there too? Yeah. I believe. Um, but we won and I just started like jumping on people as it. I was the excited one. They were busy living a life. Yeah. I was, I had to go to work in the morning. <laughs> no worries. I understand. Got to, got to pay the bills. Keep the roof yeah. over your head. I get it. Uh, so oh, so when we, yeah. when we, when we jammed that song though, it's like you guys stood out because like with the exception of like the number 12 looks like you, I don't think I'd ever seen a band live that had two unclean vocalists that traded off. So you guys were unique to me. When forming the group, was that the idea or or how, what was the process of, yeah, can you explain that to me? Absolutely. Uh, I started this band with uh, a guy, I started with a band with uh, Tykeith Breeland, uh, uh, this kid Dylan, and um, another guy named Matt. None of them are in the band anymore. Uh, and then we picked up some other members and then that, uh, switched up. They weren't, you know what I mean? Kind of, you know, just creative differences or whatnot. And then I found a bunch of other guys and, uh, Patty was the lead singer of a local band in Rochester that was doing really well, but they ended up splitting up. We had the con literally a conversation. We were just talking cause we were friends and he was like, Hey, do you want a second vocalist? And I was well, like, yeah, you wanted me to come do a cover of a, there was a festival we were, we were going to be playing oh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. Las Vegas last summer called when we were hungry for yeah. us, but that, yeah. that fell through. He wants do a cover or do a song that we did together, a collaboration feature that I did at one yeah. time. And then I'm like, yeah, dude, I'll go on tour with you, but can I do more than one song with you guys? Because I'm fucking going on tour with you. And he's like, yeah, I mean, you want to like do two or three? I was like, yeah, you want me to just be the other vocalist? And he was like, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, that sounds great. So Hell like, yeah. yeah, when we started, if you look at our our discography, um, we didn't we this that was the first song we featured with dual vocalists. Yeah, really. Okay, okay. Yeah, and. Changed it from there. We really like where it went. We like our 
especially the difference in our vocals, we sound completely different, you know? So that was a huge dynamic for us. And uh, we liked where it went. So we just kept it that way. You know, bands evolve, man. Like I can, there's no band that just started really. And this is like, everything just stayed the same. You know, we put out our early music and we're really proud of it. But uh, the new stuff we have coming out, um, Pablo Viveros, shout out to from Chelsea Grin. He's our producer. Um, the new stuff we have coming out is it's completely it, it's put, it's in the direction where I want to head. Yeah. yeah. So and where he wants to head. Heavier, really, heavier shit. Yeah. We're all heavier, different. nastier. Really cool. Yeah. Heavier, and nastier. Yeah. Everyone in the band here is so vibed with what we have going on. Yeah, I, I definitely like the sound is in, is not just improved, quote unquote, but like devol- evolved to something that I enjoy even more than when I first started the band. When I first started in the band, I liked the, the music and all the material, but like now it's just got this different flavor to it. Cool. The dual vocals and the, all the and that have uh, been added on. Well, we've got a bunch of questions for you guys. We're going to jam some music, maybe do some trivia, but I know Cody here, who's my co-host today. He's in a band called Echo Break. Cody, uh, what, what question do you have? Oh, show me, show me what you got real quick before you ask this question. This is fucking bad. We got Mad Dog 357. Yeah, Mad Dog 357 is one that used on Hot Ones for a while. Yeah, Six, million. Got, Six million. Six million yeah, skulls. We, we, we got Ashes to Ashes. That's and then a, when we need to metal. take a little break, we got a little bit of like hot honey, dog. A little, you know, a little sweetness to the to the hotness. To play you got a, you got a little, little repertoire of everything right there. I love it. I, we're hoping not to have to imbibe all this, but you know who knows. <laughs> I'll die. I'll we'll find out. We'll find out. Cody, uh, what, what, Cody, what question do you have for the fellas? What's going on, guys? Thanks for joining us here today. Um, yeah, dude. So my first question is going to be: I'm going to kick it back to both of you being vocalists. So when you're writing your music, how do you guys decide upon who's doing what lines in the songs? Oh, that's a good question. It's typically a trade-off thing yeah we typically do the standard trade-off like unless someone comes up with like say that we're like doing a trade-off and it gets to the point where it's going to be mikey's turn to go but i come up with something or vice versa it's my turn to go it's mikey comes up with something then we'll switch it then but like other than that typically it's like him me him me me him me him yeah we also play to our strengths really well like because so we do a lot of when we're labbing which is what i like to call like sitting there in the laboratory you know when we're labbing and stuff figuring stuff out um you know, we each have strengths that we have. Like, he has these crazy high fries. So if I know that's needed in this song, we'll already know where we're going to, what direction we're going to take. And then take. he can do the disgusting, yeah. totally yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm the, lower, the low dirt. Lows. Yeah. I have really good mids. That's my, my bread mids and butter. mids are really good, too, yeah. Yep. So I, I learned a long time ago that I don't, I don't have to change up my vocal style. I can do highs and lows from my mid-range, all depending on tongue placement, So you know, different stuff like that. So... We just kind of play to our strengths, man. I think it's interesting because our the times that we do sound similar are our mids. His mids are probably he does it more often, but like we have similar mids, but then our highs and our lows are very different. Oh yeah, we differ a lot. He's got yeah. gargly low. His lows are like gargly. Yeah. So let's let's rewind to last year. You said when we were hungry fest canceled, Kentucky irate fest canceled. Can- All these. Canceled. What, what is that? What does that do to? Us. Cancel. Cancel. <laughs> what what does that do Yo, t- so, to like the the mood of the band when when these big shows? Do you just... know? It's like, do, are you aware of everything we've gone through? This bad. We we do a little research before before our guests get I'm here. Talking about it, but like, I used to work for Kentucky Irate. Oh, I didn't know I that. I built their website. Yeah, so I built their website and I made all their graphics. That was my only extent to that. And then the other guys, you know, above me, I just worked for them. I watched that whole what's, thing. What's the far, full man. story <laughs> on why it was actually canceled? Because all we saw from our angle is just this band's pulling out, this band's pulling out, blah, 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 blah. It was mismanaged. They got, they, it was mismanaged. The yeah. guys got greedy and they said things that you shouldn't say. Yeah. And they were just starting to mistreat the bands a bit. Yeah. And uh, obviously, if a band can sense that, just a tiny bit of that, a band senses that, they're like, we're good, you know, typically. But we took a lot of blowback from that by just me working for them. They were oh, like, yeah. fuck we, we, all we of them. completely that. associated with that, yeah. just because Mikey worked for them. And yeah. I, I started to work for them, too, for a second. And as soon as that start, I started to, it was right when it started to just fall apart. Yeah. So, and, yeah. and it wasn't anyone's fault by other than people being mistreated. Like, if you go to some of the bands that were mistreated, 
I wasn't even a fucking manager. Like, I had no, but I was like the only one. I was like, yo, I should hop in these guys' DMs and like try to fix this. Because if anyone can fix it, the, you could. the people yeah. that were above me were like, nah, dude, fuck them. We'll get through this. And I'm like, come on, yo, man. Yeah, it's crazy. You could have totally done damage control, but they wouldn't let them. They don't care. At, at, at they wouldn't point, let you do damage control? They wouldn't let you do they, damage yeah. control. Yeah, man. Not just that. The, the guys that were mistreated at one point, you know, they kind of just wanted to watch it burn at that point. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Some of the there are a couple people that were just you know, just and I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. Yeah. I'm not gonna get into the details of what happened, but what happened was fucked up. Yeah, so, fair enough. I don't blame those guys at all. It was it, it was a sad story because the only reason I got involved with it is like I'm a festival head. That's what I do. I go to Blue Ridge every year, Furnace Fest. I'm at fucking anyone. That's all the ones I go to. When I was offered an opportunity to be a part of one, that was that was like. Yeah. Everything that's you know what I mean? It was a dream yeah. to do that. Trail. And then it fell apart, but you know what? You fucking you take it as a learning experience and you move forward. That's it. That's all you can do. You know? <laughs> and if anybody has to come with us because we were trying to chase our dreams, fuck them. Yeah. There it is. Keep it out of your keep Fellas, before we before we play uh Vivis Sup I can't even say it the second time. <laughs> That jam right there that we really, really enjoy. Uh, I need to know so some. If you listen to the, if you listen to the song, it's called Vivi, uh, Vivi Sepulter. So Vivi Sepulter is the word for being the act of being buried alive. Yeah. Oh. And if you listen to the song, you pay attention to what's happening. You know, that's the deal. With it. That's the deal. Yeah. So if you actually Googled in the word, it would come up as something. Gotcha. Yeah. Before we play Vivi Sepulter. Yeah. Uh, what is the movie or TV show that you've seen the most? Where if you guys could agree on one movie or TV show, you will not be stumped if I ask you trivia on, on that. South Park. South Park, yeah. South Park South works? Park. All right, give me a second to look at some, some South Park trivia. Try and stump you. We're hanging out with Five From Within, please support them! It looks like you guys have crazy energy too live, for real. Looks like it'd be a good Bro, time at that show. Definitely. Yeah, man. That's actually something I got to tell you. So we were like, uh, that part, uh, was it? Um, uh, my mind is collapsing. That thing on itself. I'm, I'm stuck, stuck in, in a spell. spell. So like when we were tracking with Pablo, all we kept saying over, instead of um, I'm, uh, I'm stuck in a spell, we just kept saying I suck and I smell. Well, over and yeah. over. Tracking it and all of a sudden tracking it, and you're like, did you just? Can I smell? And, I'm like, and we're like, yeah, that's good enough. Why and not? then he was like, all right, all right, do it again. And then I fucking killed it. And I said, I suck and I smell. And we kept it as a sample. Like, yeah, yeah. It's one, of the, one of the takes. Yeah. yeah. So we have that, like, just in our back pocket for someday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Well, fellas, for, be prepared to be stumped as this is the South Park trivia that you have chosen. In South yeah. Park, there's an episode called Casa Bonita. Yep. In Casa Bonita, what does Cartman instruct Butters to repopulate the Earth with? Uh, uh fucking is wiener, right? That is correct. Yeah, hell yeah. His yeah. wiener. <laughs> Damn it! So I do the hot sauce, and I also then have to chug a whole beer. While we continue the interview. So I'm going to go with this ghost pepper wing sauce right here. Sadie, go ahead and shoot him a question while I get tortured and we continue on the interview. All right. So I'm glad. Damn it. Well done. I'm glad that you brought up Pablo because I wanted to ask, what is it like to work with Pablo? Dude. Awesome. He's the man. He's the fucking man. <laughs> he's so Pablo's our friend. Yeah, he's just a shit. Like, you know, at this point. Dude, we talked, like, every one of us in this band has been on the phone with him, talking for, you know, he talked to our bassist the other day for hours. You know, just talking about music. He's helping him learn better and producing. He's just a cool He's helping us with everything. Yeah. Super chill. When he has good ideas, he's like, bro, and not just that. And, and like, if you if anybody that's watching wants to work with him, you can hit us up and I can connect you, man. He's taking clients. You know, big shout out to him. He's, he will make you a better musician when you sit down with him. And he's super funny. Thanks, and he's dude. super funny. That's our basis. Yeah. Do you think you guys would ever want to co-host if Pablo, we got Pablo as a guest? And you guys would be my co-host for the whole day? Oh, 
Dude, I'm sure. I'm sure. Fucking. I'm sure he'd be down. Yeah, dude, I'd be down. Yeah. I'd be down. To come okay, cool. Maybe we'll Fuck work yeah. on. The... Are you willing to you share? Know... Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, we're... if you ever want somebody on the co-host with you, hit me up, dude. I fucking stream. So I have a whole Excellent. streaming setup. Excellent. I can hit the soundboard. Hell yeah, that's awesome. I appreciate it, man. Hell yeah, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna hit you because we want a lot of people, and that'd be that'd be sweet. Um, what is what is some advice maybe Pablo gave you that anyone could apply to their band if they're a smaller size band that wants to be the size of Chelsea Grin hypothetically um push all the time always pushing promoting every av- avenue you can go social media wise everything you can do talk to everybody you can talk to network 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 network, 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 network. yeah um do not oversaturate your area focus online focus on the yeah, internet focus on the internet getting a Top, our top five cities are not in New York. Our yeah. number one is Chicago. Number two is Columbus. Number three is uh, Minneapolis. Number four is Atlanta. And number five is Philadelphia. We play a couple local shows a year. Yeah. We At just most. played our second local show, and we almost had 400 people there. Yeah. Wow. Hell yeah. Cody, what's, what's another one you got for the fellas? I got to look up some more South Park trivia. I'm trying to get them. It's another thing I was on. So they brought up. One of the things that I noticed was that you had Columbus in your top. Uh, when yeah. I was looking at Spotify. Do y'all play Columbus that often? No, we've never played Columbus. Never played Columbus. Okay, I was asking because I'm in Ohio. So we're playing. We're playing uh, the Midwest Meltdown in Cleveland April 1st, and we're also playing Incarceration in Mansfield. So in July. as of right now in July. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we're routing another tour through there eventually in October. And actually, we might be there. We're t- we can't announce it. It hasn't been announced yet. But we're touring with one of the bands that's playing Incarceration. We haven't announced the tour yet. So we actually might be through there again. I, oh, I'd have yeah, to look at probably, the spreadsheet. Probably will be, yeah. Good deal. It's funny because one, one of the dates accidentally got announced. So, like, if you research enough, you could probably find who we're going on tour with. But, yeah. but we can't say it. That's <laughs> yeah, all right, fellas, there's th- there's just no way you know this one. I don't care if you've seen every South Park episode three times. There's no way. There's no way! In South Park. What is the name of Kyle's house? I'm sorry, what is the number of Kyle's house Is on his address? It shows it almost every episode. Kyle's house number. What'd you say? Fucking, uh, we're just gonna throw a random number out there. For throw like, a random number out there. Fourteen. <laughs> that is not right. That's probably not. Uh, I got you. The number is one thousand and two. I don't know the street name or anything like that, but uh, the choice is yours right. on the hot sauces you brought. One thousand and two right, is the answer we're looking for. Uh, while while you guys get queued up for that, let's say. So what do I gotta do? Whatever sauce you want, just do like a just a little bit uh, in your mouth. You don't have to do a shot glass or anything like that. While while you're doing that, uh, if if you were just walking around at a show somewhere and someone's like, "Hey, I heard you're in, you're in a fight from within," but they don't know what you guys sound like, what song that we haven't played yet are you are you doing this? Say jam this one. Gum, let me, yo, let me do a gummer first, and then I'll tell you. Gotcha. Gummer heard. Oh, it's gonna be fucking bad. Yeah, that's gonna be really bad. For, that's gonna be really bad for oh, me. Uh-huh. Did you do 357? <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, All right. What was the question? What What is the song that if somebody's never heard your band and it can't be uh any, let's say it can't be any of these these top ones right here on Spotify. What's What's one <laughs> song that you would put the headphones on their head and be like, jam this one as a first song they've from never, what? yeah, from you guys. They've never heard your band before. Uh, um, what's not on our top five? Is the on our top five? Yes. What's not on our top well, five? Our top five. Um, um, stages. Stages of Grief. Stages um, of Grace. Or Stages of Grief, sorry. Is okay? Same is on there. Is it okay if we play well, Stages of Grief, or do you want to play something else? Yeah. Stages of Grief, yeah. Yo, no, wait, wait, wait. Play the waves. Or the waves, the waves, yeah. The, the waves, waves heard. Guys, we're hanging out with Fight From this- Within. If you're feeling the music, please go on Spotify, hit the follow button, support them. Some cool-ass dudes right here. And they're suffering because we were able to stump them. Cody, Cody, hit him with a serious, serious question. Ooh, a yeah. serious one. All right. Um, what 
What are some influences that you have that come from outside of metal that make it into your music? Ooh. Oh, say that one more time. What influences do you have from outside of metal that you bring into your music? Outside of metal. Outside of, um, hardcore. Well, hardcore. <laughs> no, um, well, I mean, I can't think we can, I can speak for both me and him that we're kind of like 90s kids. So, like, some grunt. Obviously. Definitely, yeah, like, um, so, and obviously new metal is metal, kind of, but, like, that kind of more alternative metal style, more melodic. I like a lot of pop music myself, so everything I do, I always bring some of that into it. Like Definitely grunge. Yeah, grunge, yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, pretty much, like, poppy or rock music in the, more, in the more of the pop realm. That's cool. Let's say, hypothetically, oh. a label comes along and just, like, here's $20 million per band member. So you don't have to split it. You all have $20 million now and you've taken care of your families. You've taken care of all the gear you could ever want. You still have 19 plus million left. What is a crazy fun toy that you would just buy for yourself? Ooh, uh, probably. Ooh, what are those gators? It's like the zero turn gators. You know, you know those? The gator like fucking, they're like golf carts, but, they're, but it's a zero turn one. One of those. Okay. Probably some jet ski. Um, what would you get? I want one of those full body video game suits. The one where you walk on VR. the track. The, the <laughs> okay. It it's got the circle around you. Oh, I'm back. So you can't, you can't like go, go. It's got the circle it's around you. Around it. it's like, have you seen those? Like, yeah, you yeah. walk on it and shit, and you VR, and it's like you're actually walking through shit. Too. It's like Ready Player One. That one. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah! Very cool. Is there is there a, a particular vocalist that you guys have in mind for like a big feature uh, sometime in the future? Oh, uh, well, I mean, can we talk? Can we each have one? Yeah. Sure. Wait, is there someone we we, we want to get? Or, or You're, like, whatever, however you want to answer it. However you want to answer it. Oh, man. Well, I want Vinny Bennett. You want Vinny? From fucking Engage the Strand? You yeah. want Frankie? And I want Frankie from Amir. Nice. Yeah. I want Vinny. He wants Frankie. Yeah. Some good ones right there. Hell yeah. Uh, Next would be Matt Brusso. Yeah, Brusso um, yeah. We do have a very popular vocalist on one of our songs coming up. Okay. We have two, actually. Yeah. On the we same song? They're both on the same song? Same song. Okay. They're both on the same song, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah! Is there, is there yeah. uh, a certain member of the band that can party harder than the rest? Like, let's say it's a it's a it was a great show and tonight's the night we're going all in on shots and ganja who who's the last man standing it'd probably be between us two yeah it'd be between us two yeah do you guys smoke so him, i'll give him the up i'll give him the up because i i'm i'm I've, I've calmed down a lot that's cool since i used to be a very 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 heavy partier yeah yeah I, I, you've called me like you know what you know one of those friends you have and they're just a dumpster it doesn't matter what you have just give I used to, back back in the day. I used to be a dumpster. Now I just smoke bud and drink once in a while. You know what I mean? Should we should we pack one up and burn? So so we say we burn together. I got one. Of, I got this. I got this five gram fucking vape pack. You can do that. That's a THC vape. Yeah. That's like THC Elf Bar. I've never seen that. Check that shit out. Yeah, dude. Pretty much a THC Elf that bar. guy is. Yo, the they're five. Five grammar, dude. I never saw these before. It's Five grammar. California gas. I'm in Kush. Hell yeah! I was at a at my well, my son's first birthday the other day, and I, and one of our homies came through, and he had a, a triple cart cartridge looking like that, but it was indica sativa and hybrid, and you could switch the setting, and it would go oh, only that's... hit the sativa one or only hit the indica one. Awesome. Love that. I want that. I had never seen that before. Hell I yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't burn. He'll he'll lose his. If he smokes, he'll, he'll lose his mind. So when it comes to the bud, if we're if we're chilling and partying, when it comes to the bud, I'm I got your yeah. back. We're gonna be smoking all night. I got um, you. And even with the alcohol, probably. Well, I can drink a lot. I just don't as much. As <laughs> I'm very able to. Is is, is there alcoholic. is there one particular place in the entire world that is the, the holy grail? I want to play a show here more than anywhere else. Bakken. Uh, Electric Factory. Vacuum oh, would be Piracon. amazing. Yeah. Piracon, definitely, too, oh, in Germany. And I know this would be, like, the best for our genre, but Red Rocks, that'd be sweet. Fuck yeah. Yeah, Red Rocks, 
Bro, fucking. Oh, here we go. Yeah, rip. Red Rocks is a common answer when I ask that question, but it's it is like the best acoustics right. ever. Bro, Doc yeah. Luce is playing Coachella. Anything is possible. That's now. true. Doc Luce is playing Coachella. Like yeah. Lorna Shore was at Lollapalooza. Like people, here's something that That's I'm gonna true. say. <laughs> I have I don't know other people that are like this, <laughs> but like there are people that go sell out, blah blah blah, so shit. I'm like, bro, I have been waiting for my genre of music to be popular for 25 years. Right. Which is like, what that. is your yeah. problem? Embrace right. it. Embrace that we can have. There's no selling out. Embrace that we can have fucking. Uh, this year we can have um, fucking job for a cowboy playing with like fucking Limp Bizkit. Embrace that. For real. That's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Don't hate on that yeah, shit. So, so, yeah, it's like, only oh. better for all of us, dude. We're yeah. all I know we're musicians and we're doing this because we love it and stuff, but if we all have more of a chance to make money, that's really that's what, what I'm we, saying. We so want to make are, money. People are always like sell it, sold out, sold out. It's like hey, make money for we myself. We want to make so money. I, I want to be able yeah. th- if there's one tip that I have for younger bands or anybody that's in a project that's maybe stalling or anything, Take your project and brand yourself. Yeah, brand yourself. Yeah. Brand yourself. That's what I've been doing. I help bands grow on social media. I've done streaming. You know what I mean? I work with people. I, I'm a t- content creator. I run a TikTok that's separate from the band. I have exterior sources of money that I can use where I can focus more time on my project. If you have this entity, right, and this entity has 100,000 followers, all those people like you already. Those are people you yeah. can get to go bring your businesses up. And the same thing, if you as an individual have 20,000 followers, like if you grow yourself and you get yourself out there and people like you for you, they're going to like your band. Right. Yeah. You know, That's a good point. take advantage of all the reach that you have, utilize it, make your money from you, and then have this become self sustaining. That's invest the in yourself. plan. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. It's when the band becomes able to fund itself and you're able to make your own money, now you're in your dream. Yeah. You get to do what you want. You don't get to work for anybody anymore. And you get to enjoy your music. But that's not going to come if you don't work for it. Yeah, work hard for it. Yeah. And we're just kids. We're just young. I'm, the, I'm old. I'm not a kid. But we're just young. With like Our bands, we're playing Inc. this year. We have two tours around. We've already been on a tour. We're not two years old yet. Yeah, we're just on the cusp of being two years old. You just got to do it right. You, know? you just got to do it right. You just got to gotta work. And that's why I say you utilize your platforms. Utilize your platforms constantly. Awesome. Make ads. You have to invest in yourself. When you put something important coming out and it's a video that you spent, you you did this, man. You worked for all this. You love what you're doing. Invest like you love it. Right. You know, if you have to spend five grand on a perfect press release when you have a video, a single stuff that you spent money for, you have to invest in that. You know, because they, I'm so, and like, if you're going to be DIY, that means you have to be DIY because you don't have people working for you. There are certain things in this industry that you're not going to be able to do yourself. Yep. And that's just the bottom line. And Some of the best advice yourself, we've ever gotten. Huh? Some of the best advice we've ever gotten on the show ever in the history of 700 plus interviews right here, Mikey, for real. Thank you. This is good stuff. People actually that all the time because I don't like him because of that. People yeah. don't like me because that's my like, He's just such an asshole. He just knows everything. <laughs> he like, just knows what he's right. doing. He's smart. The man's smart. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Fellas, we only have time for a couple more questions. Cody, hit us off with one or two more. <clears throat> all right. So, first of all, thanks for that advice. A lot of that stuff that I try to tell people myself. Yes. Yeah. Um, and Dude, probably- also, like one more shit. thing I think is important. If you're in a project, and you have to remember that this is a business. If you have an individual that's not pulling the same weight as everybody else, yeah. you have to talk to that person. You have to get them up. And if they're not, you got to let them go. And I know it's hard to think it's about, but yeah. you're all investing in each other. Yeah. So if you have a Absolutely. job together and one person's not doing their job, that's a problem. That's a problem. For yep. sure. I agree. What were you going to ask, Cody? Sorry. But I... I so we're going to lighten this up a little bit. Yeah. When when your listeners are, well, how do I word this? What do you hope that your listeners take from your music at the end of the day? Oh. 
I think uh, a big thing is just a uh, healthy release, like of ag- aggression, frustrations, anything that you're dealing with in your life. It's something that you can go listen to when you're just like down in the dumps, maybe angry, pissed off at somebody. Anything that you're dealing with that's negative, and you can go listen to this and just be like, that took some of that weight off of me. That let me release some shit. That let me feel a little bit better about what I'm dealing with right now. Maybe feel less alone, even. I think that's a big thing. Perseverance. Perseverance, yeah. Getting Perseverance. Yeah. Um, ever all the lyrics that we write, like, you know, um, I've got I've got a shady ass past as far as being, you know, down the dumps, uh, crippling ADHD and depression and anxiety. I was a heroin addict for a long time. We cleaned for almost ten years. You know, a lot of Good the lyrics you, that we write. Thank you. A lot of the lyrics that we write is, you know, it's 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 something we feel, and if we feel it, other people's feel. We like we literally we, have a song called Warning Signs. We just came out with not too long ago. Yeah, our last single is called Warning Signs, and you know, it's about the you know um, intrusive thoughts yep. and 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 you know manic behaviors, manic behaviors, shit, yep. you know, feeling like you're all alone. You know, feel people not knowing, like like yeah, you you're walking by with a smile, but people don't see what's really there right they just see right through it yeah you know my my final question is kind of somewhat similar to cody's but uh it's a little bit different and we really appreciate your guys time and advice and just hanging out with us for a little bit but uh let's say let's say we're in december of this year and we do a follow-up interview have you not i want to say have you but what are the goals personal goals for the band where you're looking back on 2023 and you've you've hit all these said goals um i think probably well the ep finished obviously put out pushed well with a good press release uh probably another music video um we'll be playing those festivals this summer so a couple hopefully, music videos a couple, by yeah then. hopefully a couple music videos by then um playing those festivals this summer hopefully that all goes to you know goes to plan Strong arming Blue Ridge to put us on. Strong arming Blue Ridge to put us on, and then we have uh, a headlining we, the yeah, entire festival. We've been ta- <laughs> we've been tagging them every day, and we are in their thing, and they sent us an email, and they were like, "Just so you know, you guys made it to the top, but you just weren't in there yet." And I don't know if they think that I'm gonna stop tagging them, but I'm not. Yeah, we're not <laughs> done. We're not done <laughs> until the day of that festival, and then if we don't get on. We've got 30 people that are going to bring in equipment. We're going to play in the campgrounds. I don't give a shit. Yeah, we're we're play playing Blue Ridge this year. We're playing a little another. mini show. I don't give a <laughs> goddamn. That yeah, is that awesome. Another one for sure. <laughs> we're, know, we're a um, hustle. Yeah. Working with bigger... Oh, dude, we have a... My whole... I got gears turning for that situation. Um, So, yeah, shout out to the Icon Pit Crew and the Cogs of War. Those guys do the God's work for the festivals around here. They're always They're always looking out for everybody. And, uh, you know, a lot of those guys love us to death. They'll be willing to help at these festivals. But, um, yeah, writing a full-length album with Pablo. Yeah, that'd be great. If we could write By the end of the year. With Pablo, yeah. <laughs> yep. We're going to have an EP coming out. I mean, we'd um, probably release it as two EPs anyways, but still, it'd be nice to do like a full-length with them, worth the material. I got you. Hell yeah. Well, gentlemen, we appreciate your time, man. Uh, we wish you nothing but success. Let's please do that follow-up sometime Thanks. in the future. It doesn't have to be in December. Just throwing that yeah. out there. But uh, this was fun, man. Thanks. Uh, what's that? Oh, I'm just saying, you gave me. I'm mostly on the Instagram, so if you message Instagram, you hit me up if you ever want somebody on or, or anything. Or if you want me to talk to Pablo about getting on here, I'm pretty sure he'd be down with it. I'll yeah, holler at you. Well, that'll be fun, man. We'll set yeah, it up. That'll be cool. Guys, if, if you are watching at home, please go on Spotify. Support the fellas in Fight From Within out of New York. Gentlemen, have a fantastic day. Stay safe on the road at those festivals. And congratulations on your 10 years, sir. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah. thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Almost 10 years. I can't take the whole 10 yet. Almost. Nine and a half, Close. we'll call it. Nine Close. and a half. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Fight From Within! Yeah, hell yeah! Cheers, fellas. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, guys.